Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. Remember, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And uh, because I do do my best to answer those. Uh, really excited about this video we're making tonight. Actually, I actually have two guests uh, here on the channel tonight. I've got the leader of WHF, Golly. How you doing, Golly? What's happening? Thanks for having me. Awesome. Glad to have you on, man. And I've also got the lead recruiter, uh, Moss Booby, as well. How's it going, hey Moss? How are you doing? Howdy. All right. And so I've actually, I've got lots of comments. I've gotten lots of requests in Discord. People wanting to know how to join WHF now. It's been, it's been quite a while since Power Bang put out a video on it. Last one I saw him do was like, I don't know, 2016 or 2017. And a lot has changed since then. A lot has changed with Clash. A lot has changed with CWL Invite, all the CWL uh, levels. Um, you know what I mean? And, and we're going to go over that stuff tonight. We're going to go over what it takes to get into, into WHF, how to do it, what we're looking for, all that good stuff tonight. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our where to apply. If you look at the, the description on the bottom of all of my videos, uh, I have the link to apply to the WHF down in there. I got the WHF recruiting server link in all my videos. I went through the other night and made sure I had it in every single video. And all the videos I'm making from now on are going to have it as well. So click that little arrow below the thing. It'll expand out, and you can click on that dis uh, Discord server. That's going to give you all the information you need in case you don't remember it here uh, to get in there. So that's where you can apply. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about the minimum requirements that we're looking for in the WHF family. And for that, I'm going to throw it over to Moss. What are we looking for, Moss? Hey, guys. So what we're looking for nowadays is Town Hall 10 through 12. Uh, we are no longer taking any Town Hall 9 applicants. Um, so for Town Hall 10s, we want to see max offense, 40-40 heroes, and then any CWL tier will be acceptable. We're mainly going to be looking for max bases, but there are two tiers this season for CWL, and either of those tiers will be acceptable. Gotcha. Then for Town Hall 11, it's going to be pretty similar. We're looking for max offense and max defense, but there is also a tier 1 Town Hall 11 in CWL this season that we will be accepting. Okay. And then for Town Hall 12, we're just looking for that max offense and pretty, pretty, uh, pretty upgraded defense. And we're not too worried about walls on these bases, but should be pretty far along on your upgrades okay awesome man thank you so much and that's right because now that there's town hall 12 out uh there is no more town hall nines in cwl invite and no more in premiere as well do i have that correct uh yeah I think so. okay and so that's and you know what I mean? That's basically, we have several tiers. We've got WHF 2, we got WHF Rising, and WHF 2 is in Premier. And uh, WHF, as you guys probably already know, is an invite. And so none of those are really required to have Town Hall 9s anymore. And so uh, that's why the WHF family is not taking them anymore. The Town Hall 9s we had are moving up to 10 and so forth. They're really being phased out of the competitive war scene. Thank you for clearing all that up, Moss. And now we're going to go through the process. So what happens if you go to that Discord server, uh, you know what I mean, and say you've got the max here, say you fit the minimum requirements, What what's going to happen from there? Sure. So you go to that Discord link, um, you're going you're gonna to see this Discord server. Uh, there's going to be some channels that you're able to see. You're going to go ahead and read those. There's a couple you should check out. It's the README, and then you can see the tryout rules, and that will kind of explain you know how to get looked at and how how to go about getting into the family so but ultimately what you're going to do you're going to post a screenshot of your your you know your war base and your profile in the respected uh profile uh base channel mm -hmm. and if you meet the requirements you'll get you'll get looked at if you don't meet the requirements we will just we will pass on you and uh once you get looked at you'll get contacted about getting a uh a tryout set up Awesome, awesome. And now, keep in mind, if you apply once and you don't meet those minimum requirements, there's nothing saying you can't come back when you're ready in three months, six months, you know what I mean, and, and apply again, definitely. Uh, so I definitely want to throw in that in there. So so say, say you pass, uh, you know what I mean, you meet the minimum requirements, you talk to them, what's the process going to be from there? Because I know that's so, changed since I went yep. through, since I went through, Correct. yeah. Correct. Yeah. So what we've moved to is an FC uh, based mm -hmm. tryout, a friendly challenge tryout mm -hmm. system. So what we do to evaluate the skill of each applicant, we'll have you know a few uh, friendly challenges to look at, and if they pass that, um, they'll move on to an interview, mm -hmm. which is kind of where we talk, ask some questions, make sure they're going to be the right fit for the family and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And um, awesome. Uh, basically 
get you a trial in WHF Rising, mm -hmm. and that's uh, kind of where you'll go from there. That's kind of step one in the family. Nice, nice. All right, man. Thank you for clearing that up for us as well. And, you know, keep in mind, guys, uh, you don't have to be freaking Lexnos or, or Golly, you know what I mean, coming into here. You know, we're not looking for people that are perfect already, although if you are, great. Uh, you know, what they've told me when we're kind of prepping for this, they're looking for, you know what I mean, people that know the basics, you know what I mean, at least know what they're trying to do, uh, people that are willing to put in the effort and uh you know what i mean uh not afraid to sketch out a plan hop on voice uh you know what i mean and plan this stuff because when you're when you're on voice with with all these guys that are already freaking awesome that's how you're going to learn so much i can't believe how much i've learned since i've i've got into whf and worked my way up to maine and you know what i mean and i've still got a ton more to learn you know what i mean so being willing and ready to learn is a huge part of that as well does that sound about right guys yeah absolutely all right hey and golly how long you been in WHF, buddy? Uh, my recruitment started in like November of 2015. Wow, it, man! It actually took until January for me to even get a trial. Like back then, the uh, the recruitment process was insane. There was so many applicants. It was like the web based um, recruitment. Oh, you geez. like filled out an application, and then from there you went to like a, a clan that you just sat in and did wars and they sat there and evaluated you and then and then you did like an interview and then you went and yep. got a trial. It was crazy. It took like a month for me to even be past my trial. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It took that long for me too, man. I went and did wars and no mercy. It was crazy. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so it's nice that they've streamlined that a little bit now. It's a little bit quicker to get into WHF Rising and start working your way up through, you know what I mean? Um, but Yeah, we've... Ma <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt you there. Oh, no, you're we've good. Massively, massively upgraded the system now That's so that we, we can get people in, we can get people evaluated. Um, it's that's much much smoother to get in now. that's awesome man you know what i mean i probably would have waited a year if i had to because it was one of my dreams one of my goals in clash to get into whf you know what i mean but not everybody's that patient you know what i mean not everybody's that right. patient so i'm glad that we streamlined it a little bit so we're not losing the some good applicants just because they're not quite patient enough that's cool um but you know what i'm amazed about is is what it's like to be in whf because i've been in you know what i mean kind of more more average clans for most all of my class career and i never imagined it could be like this i mean every major war you got a ton of guys on voice talking out plans giving each other a hard time i mean you know what i mean it's constant comedy it's never boring you know what i mean how many great friends have you met in this clan and how many how many friendships have you guys formed over the years oh man it's it's pretty countless <laughs> it truly is like you know being having been in the in the family for two and a half years oh, like man. the list of names of good people that i've met and still in contact with that don't even play the game anymore oh absolutely it's pretty amazing and just all the you know the hours that you spend talking to these people God. on voice chat in these wars like a you know mass movie already referred to it quite a few times and you have two as a family and that's really really what it is absolutely um, you know you spend this time all this time playing a game with people yeah you can't help but get to know them well and definitely you know, man are in real life and what they do and what's yep. important to them and all that oh so, yeah we, man we're in our in our discords we're telling each other about our weddings our vacations you know what i mean we're going through all this stuff together and we're having a great time with it and uh you know what i mean and the level of teamwork uh that goes on here is just astounding to me the level of planning and helping each other it's really an amazing place to grow and learn as a clasher um you know what i mean like i like i said before it's one of my dreams to get in this clan now that i'm here i'm just i i love it you know what i mean you guys are awesome Gr grateful for the opportunity and glad i worked my way up to maine um so is there anything you guys want to add to this this is a uh, the newest whf recruiting video trying to give you guys all the information you need to get into whf to work towards it to get there and you know what i mean and come up to maine with us eventually work your way up there and be voice chatting with me and golly and lex and moss you know what i mean and taking on bases and cwl invites do you guys have anything to add 
I guess the only thing I'd, I'd add, sorry, golly, the only thing I'd add is uh, kind of how you said it, Corey. Uh, WHF's a pretty, pretty awesome place. I don't think you can find too many other clans like it. Right. And, uh, I really hope to hope to see you guys apply. Absolutely, golly. How about you, man? What do you got to add? I think for me, the the thing that people don't realize is, you know, they'll they're in kind of a casual clan, and you know, maybe they they feel like they're taking it a bit more serious than their, you know, than their clan mates are. Maybe they're putting on a little bit more effort. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I think a lot of times like people just try to like stick it out and, um, maybe turn their casual, casual clan into a more competitive one. Yeah. And I did that for a long time. I, I did actually that. ran my own clan and, um, you know, at some point when you get into the competitive scene and you're suddenly playing with 50 people that are just as addicted and enthusiastic to the game as you are. Like, and, and dedicated really to excellence. Incredible. It is incredible. Yeah. Buddy, I was in the same shoes as you, man. It seemed like I was the only one trying to recruit, trying to, you know what I mean? Trying to build this clan up. And without help, man, that's a, you know what I mean? It's it's a hard, continuous losing battle over time. You know what I mean? When you get in a clan like this with so many other people that are this committed to the game, it's amazing what you can build and how much you can grow together. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think um, being in a competitive scene, it can it can be kind of intimidating but um if you have the right attitude and you have the dedication and you want to get better um you know we'll take we'll take mediocre players and make them great by by joining the family but we're not going to take you know beginners and then make them mediocre and then making them great yeah yeah you're <laughs> so, right uh, absolutely you got to have the basics there first to paraphrase like a an old video that PB did, mm-hmm. you know, because he's the patriarch of the family, so we still uh, carry those ideals. Absolutely. And he said that, you know, uh, we're not going to make you good, we're going to make you great. So nice. That's kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for people that are like minded individuals, uh, that are dedicated to it, enthusiastic about it, and, yep. uh, you know, real clash nerds like all the rest of us. Definitely. So, <laughs> So there you guys have it, straight from the leader of WHF and the lead recruiter of WHF as well. And I'm just going to do a quick summary of the the most basic stuff that we covered. Uh, We're looking for Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 11s, and Town Hall 12s. And you know what I mean? Heroes have to be maxed. All right, those are the bare basics, and also all of our all of our recruiting is done through our recruiting Discord server, which is you can be found at discord.me slash whf and you're going to find that link in the bottom of all of my videos uh, in the description if you don't know how to get to the description you got to exit your full screen and then there's going to be a little arrow below the video and you click on that and it's going to expand out the video description you're going to find the link to our recruiting server discord.me slash whf you're also going to find some other helpful links in there as well including uh, some live streaming for whf cwl wars done by my buddy carbon fin so check out the description lots of good info and resources for you guys in that you know and when you get into whf when you get into rising and you get added to those whf servers hit me up message me let me know i want to know how your journey's going because i just went through that i just did that same thing myself just a few months ago and uh so i definitely want to know how it's going when you get a promotion hit me up let me know i would love to hear from you and i can't wait to see you guys in the whf family i'll see you in the next video